get started. The meeting is open. It is June 4th, 7 p.m. Um, let's go around and state who's present. Mark Sotir. Sandra Simon. Rick Mudd. Art Edgerton. Paul Clark. Rachel Keller. Thank you. Uh, the, the meeting is made available to uh, the public through a video and audio broadcast of the Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at a future date. Comcast, excuse me, comments made in open session will be recorded. All right. We uh, are going to get right to the agenda. There's uh, some mail, uh, excuse me, signings going around. We have a certificate of compliance for a 15 corporate drive, 358 School Street, uh, in order of conditions for Iowood Road, uh, lots 168 to 177, and Copperwood Road, lots 146 to 148, and lot 184. Yeah, I'll make a signature. Mm -hmm. So what you'll see All on that do. is there's no, uh, these are just back pages. Mm -hmm. So these are, you know, old business that um, needs to be cleaned up. So there's a lot of stuff to be signed there. But, uh, oh, I see all that. <laughs> yeah, but they're, just, they're okay. just back pages. Okay, so those have been around. Uh, Not that I don't, I don't trust Rachel or anything, but can we see that what that's going to be attached to? Attached to each. Uh, you guys actually saw it and approved it back in... Me. Right, but we're just giving you blank pages that are signed that could be put on anything. Well, the, there's a, um, there's a, there's a, there's a oh, it's number up okay. on the top, okay. right? So they reference right. registration. Right. Thank you. Yeah. It's just the, um, it's all of the orders of conditions for, well, so far that have been presented to us for um, Copperwood Circle. And originally, Merrill said that they would file them for us. They granted it, and then you guys signed. I think there were like six of them yep. for Silverwood Road. They took those and they actually did file those ones. They never filed these ones. Now this isn't going to change any of the status on the rec 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 reclamation process or anything. The registry will only file with an original right. signature. Signed. So you guys already right. approved all of the conditions, right. I remember that. the special conditions. Um, that will be attached to these. We just, ne no one ever filed it. Right. It happens. Uh, <laughs> so well, I didn't know that. I called, so I called Merrill and I said, so what's the um, book and page number? Because no one wants um, a certificate of compliance right, exactly. on one of the lots. And they said, well, we think Owen filed them. So I called Owen and said, oh, I thought Merrill filed them. And I said, oh, boy. I'll file them. The merry-go-round. So yeah. as a point of discussion, should we not, should we talk about not allowing somebody else to file this these? Is, this is a normal... Thing. But in this particular case, because there was so many of them and they, everything was working together, that they said, well, we'll take the whole pile and do the whole pile. And they did six of them, the whole pile, and the whole pile got lost. But typically, we do not Misplaced. allow that. <laughs> it's somewhere. Merrill is a stand up company, so it just yeah. proves right. that no. even a stand up right. company can right. not do what we need them to do. Right. So we, we shouldn't give people the option of it. Well, sometimes it's themselves. better for them to spend their time to do something than have to have Bob or somebody else do it. Well, they and pay we, us. To, to well, I know. Sometimes we let them write their OCC and then we tweak it rather than having to do it. They know. Do they know what we want? Yeah, yeah. This is just for the filing at the registry. Oh yeah. Oh, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. We should be doing it all the time. Yeah. In this particular case. I think you're right. It was, we gave them that option. They volunteered to do the work at a time when Rachel was still transitioning. On a, on a transitioning new, on a new job. I think you're right. The workload was high, so we said. You know, okay, guys, do it. Thanks. Pass right by. So, yeah. it's 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 right. so is it in our uh, purview to um, to vote on that? And, uh, well, yeah, we just won't. Do it. We won't. We won't do. We've already talked about this. Yeah. So do we need to? Do we need to talk and vote on that, or do we just say, "Hey, that's what we're doing"? Okay. No, I mean for future for anybody else. That, that we're not giving people the option to file. No, actually, as a matter of fact, recently I've had requests from attorneys, and they want to go and file for whatever reason. That happens. Okay. We don't allow that. All right. So we're already doing it. Yeah, we're already doing it. From now, you know, going forward, right. we won't be allowing that. Excellent. Yet. Excellent. Okay. Great. Moving on, has everybody had a chance to review the, um, the meeting minutes from May 21st? Yes. yes. Okay. Any I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the meeting from yes. May 21st. As written. As written. Okay, a motion has been made to approve the meeting uh, notes from uh, May 21st as written. I will second that. It's been seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All right, unanimously passes. Okay, we have a few minutes. Um, Ed Thor's going to come in to talk about a few things. Um, our 710 meeting that uh, 
Uh, they're, late, they're not. They're not quite ready for us, so they're going to be coming in in a couple of weeks. So uh, all we have on the docket is uh, wood by now and uh, a few things uh, that Ed wants to talk about, like the water wheel, some North River business, and I think uh, one more item. We could take care of wood by without Ed needing to approve the same. Okay. Approve the uh, issue negative three allowed sand to be placed on Little Sandy Beach, but not in the water. All right, let me just get it on the record. All right, so... Uh, Any discussion? So this is a request for determination determination of applicability for zero wood by now. Um, Bob has just uh, made a recommendation. This is simply putting sand on, Could we have on discussion? the beach. We can certainly discuss it. All right, um, as you brought up in the past, it's an, er it's an erosion problem into a beach. It has oil slicks that develop all the time. I think it's okay to continue this, but I would love to see something long-term fix the problem because every year we're replenishing sand. And with that process of eroding, it's going right into one of the beautiful ponds in the town, Little Sandy. So it silts up and it allows oil from the roadway from three roads to come in and go into the pond. I'd like to see something long-term better than just replenishing sand. There's quite a rip that goes through there every year. Yeah, I haven't been down to the site. This so. is a town landing site, is that what you're talking it's about? The town, the town has spent money engine, trying to find an There's the basic thing. Other than taking over some of the houses in the area to create a some sort of a pond, oh, no. it's, it's an, been an impossible thing for anyone to engineer yeah, over the last problem. 25 or 30 years. We've tried three or four different approaches. There was a cement sluice way that's been this, there's been that. I uh, saw a tar one. I didn't it's, see cement. You know, it's when you have three hills or three roads yep. that are all are coming downhill and they all empty into one lot, which happens to be the beach. The water's coming down the hill and headed to the pond. And, you know, shy of asphalting the beach over, which would let the water go across the asphalt, is, the water table is about a foot at that level. At, at times, so there's no room to put in any drainage to speak of. Uh, so it's either get a, take one of the house lots, do away with the beach, uh, make the most, most of what we have. Well, Every so many years, we, they put the excavator down there and pull a whole lot of sand back out yeah. again and kind of start from, from scratch again. But so is that what is this a pull and replace of the sand? No, this is no. this year. It's just it it's, put some okay. sand in where the washouts. Okay. No. Ah, this is not a pull out okay. year right now. Um, I would be in favor of a concrete sleuthway. Uh, all I saw was a tar sleuthway. I've never seen concrete. I'm not, no, not to be. I'm not first, saying but, it wasn't. But the problem with the concrete one is every winter <coughs> the concrete would buckle up, would buckle and and break, and they'd yep. patch it. And before long, it was pieces mm -hmm. of concrete, so that's when Maybe. they decided asphalt would take the winter better, and that didn't work either, I mean. So maybe they have newer concrete, better ways of putting it in, and or at least a, I would say, an oil boom just sitting there that soaks up no water, just oil. That would be an improvement, just a boom. Two stakes well, that, that soaks that up oil. The, the theory is great, but when that water from those three hills oh, yeah. starts coming down, there isn't enough boom around to soak up the oil as that it, with that water going across. It's going to well, it go. floats. I mean, it's a floating boom, so it would yeah, it would it's, level it, itself. When too. the water's coming that fast, it the boom is here and the everything is going yeah. with it. I yeah. mean, it just uh, well, the oil doesn't get emulsified. It floats. So if you had a floating boom and anchored, it may. I'm just I'm not saying it would work. It would be nice to look into. It's a beautiful pond. So the, and the, the, it's given to the engineering company, nobody has come up with a, no. yeah. with a solution there yet. Uh, so it's, a D, it's a road problem. I was going to say, is that a DBW right. issue? It's a, it's a road problem thing yeah. that ends up at the beach. You know, no. but, yeah, it is. It's a design problem that's been there forever. You know, it has been. Yeah. I mean, we've done more work. They, they've done a lot of things and nothing is... You know, and there is no real drainage pipes down there? Like s no. sewer systems, they just sumps here no. and there. There's a couple of sumps. That's all. And that's it's all. It's so it really won't handle it. So high, there's nothing you can do with yeah, it. It won't handle it here. Yeah. I mean, there's the amount of area draining down to that one small is just tremendous. I mean, yeah. so you go there when it's raining hard, and you almost need a boat. Right. I mean, to, so what if there was a pumping station put in that would handle it and pump it up to the top of the hill into the basements? 
I'm just saying long-term yeah. future, that's well, something that at one point should be fixed. There's very few pumping stations that work well. I mean, you can go to the tunnels in Boston and, oh, yeah. and see them with their, and they still have problems. You've yeah. got men working 24-7 to keep them running. Where is the town of Pembroke going to, you know, yeah. The only time that you'd find somebody is when you call them out, and that would only be after the, after the pump the itself was already underwater and, uh, and not working. Something I, at like least that's sun. the way. You know, it's a, I usually can come up with some good ideas. Yeah, it's a, this it's, one it's a is one we've thought about and thought of every year, and it just, you know, yeah. I was hoping one time there was one house there that looked in pretty bad shape and all, and I was you know, trying hoping. to get the town to buy the lot, but they auctioned and. You know, they yeah. owned it and auctioned it. Right across the street from the, yeah, yeah that would have been a good site. The town already yeah. owned it? What? The town yeah. already owned it and they auctioned it off? Yeah. 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 Well, that's that's opportunity. Because, because, maybe the neighborhood should have maybe got together and bought on, it. Unless you're on conservation or living on that pond, you don't care what the water's hap happening in that part of, of, of town and when the house lot's worth X amount of money, Compared to, you know, digging a hole for some water to go in that you don't see, you don't stand a chance. It was, they wouldn't even consider doing that. They I think long term a pump would be probably the only solution there with a sump that it would, you know, take as much as it can and then pump out. I'm not saying today or this week. Yeah, or, but then if you were, we're going to pump it well, up into the system. Up over the hill yep. and then down the Couple drainage into the, into the bog area, which has you know, a could pond. be, but... As a what you pond. what you will find probably is obstacles when they're south thrown yeah. out. Well, first of all, the drainage on West Street wasn't made to pump all that extra water, and so now we're going to have to put all new drainage down West Street. And then when it gets down to the bog, well, that detention pond is only made for that water that was coming. Now we're going to have to do yep. that. And you know, that's a, it's, yeah, you open up the yeah, can you of open worms up the can of worms, and the next thing you know, one load of sand every. Every year, it goes into many hundreds of thousands of dollars of yeah. of work, and probably you still have to have some sand anyway. Do you think there could be some, some of it's not going to get pumped? Do you think there could be grants that could be achieved? Because it's not the water I'm worried about. It's simply just a basin to collect the oil off the water. Like they they put these pads in catch basins to catch the oil, and they yeah. work really rather well. The technology is there. Oh yeah, for for a catch. Basin, so they have to get a grant to do some sort of a basin to. Has to be one. Oh. Yeah. I mean, because it gets a, a catch, really yeah, a catch yeah. basin normally is for x square x feet. Amount, right. And yeah. here you've got x square feet, x square feet, and x square feet, yeah. and x square feet all coming in. So if you have one here, you probably needed you know six or eight catch basins right at the bottom. Hmm. It's it's a bad situation. You're right. Right, if no, someone I, could come I'd up like with a good, I'd like to see it at least discussed so we can look at it and say maybe in the future we can have a solution because it is one of the most pristine ponds left in the town. Yeah. It's a beautiful pond. No, I, don't don't, I personally am all for solutions. I don't think we have any tonight. But no, uh, we know, I wasn't meant to just. <laughs> it's good have to a talk solution. about it. Right. I don't know where it, where it goes from here and if it's yeah, is well, it is it really a DPW? Almost every. They have to come by at least every third year for putting sand on the beach because our waters are only a three-year basis. So every third year, anyway, we talk about it. And I know that we've DPW and the beach people, because the, be the uh, beach people, uh, I don't know what their official title are, but this, they the take care people. of the beaches in town. Mm -hmm. well, they're concerned about it. Yeah. There's a couple other problems. There's no... Uh, Facilities there, you have to right. have a outhouse on that beach yep. because there's out. no place to put a sewerage system in, even if you constructed a, be a, a beach house because the water table's too high. Other than a, a complete pump, you no know, pump yep. out, you might as well pump have out. the outhouse. So yeah. every <laughs> year we bring they bring in the outhouse to put on the beach now. Well, that, it doesn't give any change in here. It is there's, yeah. there's yeah. goods and bads about the beach, and then every so often someone will say. Well, let's just close the beach. Well, well you close you the beach that services a whole lot of houses in that area yeah. that are on the pond. And all. So then they'll sell the lot and put a house in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so 
so yeah. yeah there's really it, it is a real predicament of the design I mean, it's, uh, absolutely it's in the bottom of a big bowl yeah. Yeah. and it's, there's there's not enough land to really put in a, an absorption there's, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it'd be as hard as doing the one on, on furnace lane and 14 the big dig. it'd be a major yeah. major yeah. deal I understand well, that. It, the, the biggest thing is the water tables there, so we don't right. know what you put in, it doesn't going to drain any oil. I was thinking more of a, a boom just to collect oil. Well, why don't we, uh, let's move on. What, can we have a... Well, we had a, you began to make a motion. A motion to close yes. the hearing. Oh, you were going yeah. to motion. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Right. Issue negative three. All right, I will second the motion for Woodbine Ave. Okay, so a motion has been uh, made and seconded to issue a negative three for uh, the RDA for zero Woodbine Ave. All those in Aye. favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Okay, gentlemen, welcome. All right, so. Uh, we took care of Woodbine, uh, so you know, we have to talk about that so we can move on to other business and uh, we can just open the floor up to uh, whatever way you want to take it. All right, well, let's talk about uh, the Herring Run Park. Uh, just, just, just for the, the, the record, we're on tape, just introduce yourself. Oh, and Thorne Tenement, sir. Bill Bolter, uh, Selectman. Thank you. And the chairman on the Pembroke Water Wheel Committee. So I think one of the things we want to do is that the project that we're going to be proposing this summer will be uh, a joint project of the Marine Fisheries folks and uh, the Herring Fisheries Commission, uh, the Conservation Commission, and the Board of Selectmen in uh, spending a $100,000 earmark that we received from Senator DiMacito's office for an experience. The, the wording is for Herring Run Park improvements for handicap accessibility and a fish ladder, all right? And so what we're planning on doing is uh, the fish ladder proposal, which you have in front of you from Brad Chase from Marine Fisheries, um, and it's all in that one packet. Um, we, we're looking at a, a joint project at the bridge, and so um, this would necessitate either an amendment of the existing order of conditions that deals with the water wheel at a temporary location and amending it to allow the water wheel to be placed at a permanent position up by the bridge, by the stone bridge. So um, I think one of the things we'd like to have the Conservation Commission uh, determine is to whether or not it would be a, uh, an amended order of the an amended order of the, the existing conditions, which we all know went round and round and round with DEP and all that kind of good stuff, or to have um, the petitioners come back with a new notice of intent and a new order of conditions. So that's something that we like the Conservation Commission to chew on before their next meeting and, and make that determination at their next meeting so we can go forward. Because they're in a situation that we have with the, uh, the earmark funds, um, I need to at least start expending some funds before June 30th because there was going to be a drop dead date of June 30th it to spend all of the money. But obviously um, the Department of Public Safety, which is administering the program, you know, what, there was a bean counter in Boston that said you got to spend it by June 30th. Well, we just got the money a month ago, you know, because it, it took all winter for us to get the money released because there was a battle between the governor and the legislature over vetoing all these different kind of earmarks. So anyway, so we, the Senator DiMacito prevailed, but the money wasn't even brought, you know, wired into the town until April. So anyway, that being said, um, we can start the ball rolling on a couple of projects dealing with handicap accessibility. I've already signed a contract with Weston and Sampson. Uh, we received a $10,000 grant from the Community Compact Program for an ADA transition plan townwide. I asked Weston and Sampson if they would start with 
the Herring Run Park and Tubbs Meadow, because those are two projects that uh, A, have been funded by the state earmark, and B, by community preservation. Uh, that was an article that was passed in, um, at uh, the annual town meeting. And that, those ones will be available uh, on July 1st. Correct, Rachel? That's correct. You know. So, um, you know, and, and so that's to make the, uh, the parking lot and the, the pathways and everything handicap accessible. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. And um, will, that, will that qualify for your June 30th deadline to get some money on, on the dock? Yeah, for the Herring, well, this is, um, you know, the Herring Run Park, um, if there are some things that we can do from a handicap accessibility standpoint, and I could draw down some money. I mean, the money's already here, believe it or not. It was wired to the treasurer's office, so we literally have the hundred thousand, you know. But you know, I think in good faith we would try to expend some of that money, you know, maybe a, a fraction of it. But I think, uh, from a long-range standpoint, um, what we want the uh, conservation commission to do is to to make the determination as to what direction. Um, you know, Bill and, and myself need to go and with Brad Chase uh, and this joint project um, at the uh, at the location of the, the water wheel and the permanent location in conjunction with the creation of a new fish ladder up at the uh, at the bridge. Isn't this something we've already decided? It's, I don't yeah. think so. Not from.